Hi there. Today I want to talk about liked videos and playlists. On my channel, we're sitting at the home page on my channel, you'll see my playlist if you click on that. Somewhere within the stream of all my playlists, you will see one that says liked videos. You're seeing this because I have my YouTube options set up to share with anyone who watches my channel videos that I watch and videos that I hit the like button for. So I now have 2,362 videos that I've given a thumbs up to. Now this is an option that YouTube gives you to either share with the world or not. And how do they do that? Well, if you come over here to my little icon up here in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to left click on my picture. And you'll see there is my picture and creator studio. And then there's this little wheel icon. It says YouTube settings. I'm going to click on YouTube button, count settings. I'm going to go to privacy. Privacy, likes and subscriptions. Keep all my liked videos and saved playlists private. Well, I don't want to keep them private. I want to share them with the world. If I like a video, not only do I want to encourage the person who created that video, I want somebody else who's watching my channel to, to be able to go and find content on YouTube that I thought was really neat. So I unchecked this arrow and then you hit save. Now let's go out to, I'm going to click a new button here, come to my YouTube page again. Let's search for Shannon Green's channel. Let's go see what Shannon has set up. And I'm choosing Shannon because she's pretty, she's pretty easy going. <laughs> But I do this quite frequently on my subscribers. I go out and I'll look at their channel. Here's Shannon's channel. I'm subscribed to her. I go to her playlists. And right up at the top, there's her liked videos. So I hit liked videos. And it takes me to the first one in the playlist. So I'm going to come up here to the right hand side and hit liked videos again. And it'll give me a full list of channels that Shannon has watched that she likes. And I can go down here and, and I'm not really snooping on Shannon. This is content that she's sharing with the world just as if she would share her own video. She's saying, look, I found Sewing 101 Pencil Bag, Gina Aarons. This might be a video that you might be interested in. Go check it out. And I like to go over on channels and when I'm checking these things out, find maybe somebody I'm not subscribed to yet. Let's see. Let's find one. Uh, quick tutorial on crochet paper clips. That looks interesting. Let's click on TryHeart67. Look, when I hover over it, I am signed in. But when I hover over TryHeart67, you can see that I'm not subscribed to her yet. So I'm going to open that link in a new tab, and I'm going to go to TryHeart67's YouTube channel. Look, I'm not subscribed, but let's go check out her videos. Let's see what she has. Let's see if there's anything I'm interested in. Oh, shabby cheek rag baskets. That looks neat. Gifts from my friends, rag baskets. I do crochet. This looks like something that I might Hobby Lobby, Target Haul. Hmm, maybe she's found something that I've missed. So, I'm going to subscribe to her. So here I am, I'm hitting the subscribe channel. Shannon Green just pointed me to one of her, a channel that she's watched that she thought was neat, and I wasn't subscribed to it. I was unaware of TryHeart67. So not only has Shannon helped out TryHeart67, she's helped me out in finding some really interesting content. So that's a reason why you might want to set up your settings to show the world your liked videos. Let's go back out to my home page. Let's hit my playlists again. 
Let's go to my liked videos. Let's look at some of the videos that I've given a thumbs up to. 2,362 videos that I've given a thumbs up to. <laughs> Many of you are probably subscribed to these, but just like I found TryHeart67 from Shannon's video, you might be scrolling down here and going, who's Sea Lemon? She's got an exciting announcement out there. She's actually going to be hosting I believe a guest host on another channel for for a month or so and she's announcing that. Sea Lemon is a really neat artist. If you're not subscribed to her, go check out her content. So I guess what I'm in, what this video is all about is setting up your settings to share with the world videos that you give a thumbs up to and putting them in the default playlist so other people can find them. There's obviously a reason why they give you this option to keep it private some people may not want to share the videos that they like although i can't understand why if i go out and watch some channel out there let's just go pick a channel let's see what it gives me let's go pick a channel I, i'm not even sure who would i pick let's just type in let's do a youtube search on um Cars. Cars. <laughs> Cars. Cars by Pixar Movies on Demand. Let's say that, oh, I'm going to go watch this. It's obviously, I'm not subscribed. I'm going to watch a video here. Let's watch um, Toy Story of Terror compilation. Oh, what's this? Let's watch it. Let's see. Let's see what it is. I'm not subscribed, but uh, preview of full video. Oh, this is not anything that I'm really interested in, and I'm not going to subscribe to the channel just because it's not that it's not a good channel. It's just that I'm not interested today in Toy Story. But yet I went out and watched this for a little bit. So let's go back to my liked videos. That's Shannon's. Let's go to my liked videos. Playlists. Let's see if it put that Toy Story in there. Just because I watched it, just because I watched it does not mean that it's going to show up there because I didn't give it a thumbs up. Not, And I didn't give it a thumbs up because I didn't like it. I just didn't give it a thumbs up because it's nothing that, that I'm interested in at the time. So if you do give it a thumbs up, let's do that. Let's go to TryHeart67. Let's watch her shabby chic rag baskets. Okay. This is cool. Yeah, I'm liking this. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's go out here to four minutes and see what she's doing at four minutes. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. How does she do that? That's really neat. I'm really liking this video. Let's give it a thumbs up. Let's see. Try heart. Add to. We can share it. Let's share it. Oh, no, I'm going to share it because I'm not signed. Well, I can share it on Google+. Plus. And I'm just going to put interesting. Rag baskets. Looks fun to make. I'm going to share it publicly. Anybody who's in my circles will see that. Add to. Add to. Well, let's add it to watch later because I'm going to watch it later. Let's give it a thumbs up here. She's got 12. I like this. Let's give it another one. 13. Yeah, I like that. I gave TryHeart67 a thumbs up on her shabby chic rag baskets. Now let's go back to my liked videos. And let's let's uh, refresh this. 
liked videos. Okay, hit my liked videos, get to my entire list. You can see I watch Shabby Chic Rag Baskets. I thought it was pretty neat content. I want to share it with my viewers. I hit the like button. It shows up in my liked videos. So that's the difference between I watch Toy Story of Terror. I didn't hit the like button. So it did not show up in my liked video list. You don't see that. <laughs> but I did like Shabby Chic Rag Baskets. And I gave it a thumbs up. And it shows up in my, well that's Shannon's. It shows up in my list of shabby chic rag baskets. So that's just a little lesson of if you do a lot of watching and liking videos, which I would really encourage you to hit that thumbs up button if you like something. Not only are you helping the person who created the content, you are saying to your viewers, hey, this is neat. Go check out this video. I found this. You're, you're pointing your viewers to some really interesting content on YouTube that they might not be aware of. So I just kind of wanted to talk about um, like videos and why you might want to give them a thumbs up and, and how to do it and how to set up your playlist to make your liked video playlist public. And this is just something you might want to consider. I go out many, many times and check out other people's liked videos to find interesting content. You could do a search, like on this one. I did a search for the word cars. And many times I will go in and search for art journal. Art journal. I'll just do an art journal search. But sometimes you get all sorts of you get what other YouTube picks for you and I I think you can sort this by by the time I'm not going to go into all of that but you get what YouTube points for you but if you go out to people like Shannon who you know has the same interest you do and maybe she's watching something that she's sharing with her viewers that would be of interest to you so I just would encourage you to go out, click on your settings, go to the privacy, click on your icon, go to your YouTube settings, click on your privacy, go out here and uncheck this, keep all my liked videos private. Make them public if you wish to share with your viewers what you're watching and what you're liking. It really helps out your viewers and it helps out the person who creates the content. So that's all I have to say today, and I will see you on the next page.